Today, we are going to talk about how to read the AQL tables. First, what are AQL tables? The AQL tables are statistical tools at the disposal of by inspection levelers for product inspections. They are an industry standard. Most suppliers involved in international trade are familiar with it. Some specialized quality inspection software will show all the numbers automatically. But it is still good to understand how to read these tables by yourself. There are basically two tables that you need to understand. The first one tells you which code letter to use. Then in the second table, the code letter will give you the sample size and the maximum number of defects that can be accepted. Okay, now we are going to go through these two tables step by step. In the first table, you should know these two parameters. The first one is the lot size. If you order different products, consider each product as a separate lot. The quantity of each product is the lot size. If you order only one product, the lot size is the total batch quantity. Here, we assume that our lot size is between 3,201 pieces and 10,000 pieces as an example to illustrate this. And the second parameter is the inspection level. Different inspection levels will command different numbers of samples to inspect. Typically, there are three levels, G1, G2, and G3. G1 is usually selected for products with less strict requirements, and G2 is usually selected for the most common sampling plan for consumer products under normal conditions. G3 is usually selected for products with more strict requirements. In this video, we will stick to the so-called Level 2 under normal severity and to single sampling plans. In this table, you may also notice that there are also the so-called special inspection levels. The main difference between the general and special inspection levels is that special inspection levels generally point to much smaller sample size. The typical sample size for a special inspection level is just a handful of pieces. These sample sizes are smaller because special inspection levels are typically reserved for on-site product tests that are either destructive to the product, rendering it unsellable, or expensive or tedious to perform, or likely to yield similar results across all pieces in the order. You may want to consult a professional third-party inspection provider if you are unsure which inspection level to use for your order. They should be able to help you determine the most efficient but valuable inspection scope for your order based on which checkpoints and quality issues are most important to you. And here in this video, as an example, we will use G2 for our inspection level. Okay, so let's go back to this table. How to read this table exactly? Let's say our assumed lot size is between 3,201 pieces and 10,000 pieces. According to this table, our inspection level is 2. Consequently, the code letter is L. Once you know your code letter, we can move to the second table, the sampling and acceptance limits table. Here, you need to set up your AQL limits appropriate for your market first. If your customer accepts very few defects, you might want to set a lower AQL for both major and minor defects. In practice, three types of defects are often distinguished. For most consumer goods, those limits are 0% for critical defects, this means totally unacceptable. A user might get harmed or regulations are not respected. 2.5% for major defects. 
This means this product would usually not be considered acceptable by the end user. And 4% for minor defects means there's some departure from specifications, but most users would not mind it. As an example, let's say in our case, we set your AQL at 2.5% for major defects and 4% for minor defects. So how to read the second table based on this? Remember, from the first table, we already know that our code letter is L. So you will have to draw 200 pieces randomly from the total lot size. Besides, I assume you have set your AQL at 2.5% for major defects and 4% for minor defects. Therefore, according to this table, here are the limits. The products are accepted if no more than 10 products with major defects and no more than 14 products with minor defects are found. For example, if you find 15 products with major defects and 12 products with minor defects, these products are refused. If you find 3 with major defects and 7 with minor defects, these products can be accepted. Hope this example here can be helpful for you to understand the AQL tables. Thank you for your attention, and we will see you in our next video.